G'day Wester here. Okay, um, been getting a few questions from you guys about whether I fix my icon self-leveling. Uh, long answer is no. I uh, really haven't had time, but um, I've actually got the gear here to do it now, and I'm going to do it pretty much right now. So um, you will need to fix this problem. So I've read you'll need um, some silicon, a silicon pad. Um, this is an aligned one. Um, part number is um, K10457TA. Okay, um, that's just an aligned gel pad. Um, it's got a self adhesive strip on it and it's got two straps that come with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got my gobby here, um, I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see it better. I've got the, the um, main blades off. And I'm going to get this, I'm going to reposition this so that you can see the um, controller a bit better. Okay, welcome back. Okay, I've got my icon controller here. Um, this is the one that I've had self leveling issues with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it apart and um, basically put this cut and measure and cut and put a sil this silicon pad and underneath it between the icon and the uh, mounting plate. So to do that, first of all, what I need to do is remove all the um, controller cables for all the servos and the ESC. So, but what I've got to do is a little trick that I'm going to do right now. If it works, I'm going to get a bit of tape and just sit it here on the tail like that, just so that you're ready for it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these cables um, and so kind of take a note of before you start pulling things off where everything goes okay so you've got all your channels marked here so I've got the, my um, C456 bind is open and then I've got channel 3 plugged in channel 2 is not connected and then I've got my throttle and then server 1, 2, 3 and then I've got a um, one in the server 4 for my tail I want a far one there on that side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to briefly pull these out um, and I'm going to pull this one here out on its own just remember the red goes to the top as it is um, so I'm going to pull them all out in one bundle and then I'm going to wrap this tape around them to hold them in position so I don't have to reposition them all so I'm actually going to pull them out one at a time Because there's not a lot of room, I haven't actually left much play for these to to um to work with. So I'm going to pull these out. It's quite tight to get out. So that's my server one. So you got to work with them one at a time. It's a pretty tight little spot to get into actually. That's two. Three and four. So now that I've got those all out, I can now take them together like so. I won't worry about Oh yeah, and this one here. So 
so line them all up how they came out including your red one and get your tape and this keeps them all in, in sequence to where they are so get your tape and put them round like that and that way they don't come and stuck and that way they go in the same way that they come out okay okay so now we've got to take the icon I'll take the two satellite controller cables out so I've, you know I've got quite tight space to work with here because I did a nice job of actually assembling it all and putting it all tidily in there so I've just got to get those out tuck those out of the way remember, remember to get those back in and then with us here we've got to get it off um, the old mount so I'm just going to twist this each way until I get it off basically loosen its grip And tear the little sil silicon off the of the base. Um, I'm going to get a, a scraper now. So this is the bottom of it here. It's got a silicon like sticky pad there. Um, and I'm going to actually use my scraper and carefully scrape away that top layer of silicon. You want to make sure you get it all off too because it, it gives it a nice smooth surface to um, re-bond to when you do get it back up and running. And just be careful you don't like, cut any of the cables with the scraper that you're using or the razor that you're using. Now I'm just going to do the same with the controller. Just careful not to cut your fingers if you slip. These razors are really sharp, so. So then you can use your thumb and kind of roll the old pad away. I think the biggest issue with this self living system is the vibration absorption rate it absorbs vibration it's in general on general flight it's really really solid but um, any little vibration um, yeah, and you'll get some issues so okay so that's all nice and clean so now I'm just going to get my silicon pad And I'm going to measure, I'll cut, I'll cut it out of its pack first. Take out your silicon. And it's really quite a um, sor sorbent little, very, it's, it's, quite, it's like a gel, uh, one of those things that you stick your feet in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I've got a, um, a marker 
Iya. I'm actually going to mark around on the silicon pad so that it's a nice so I'll make a nice tidy job of it basically there's your little piece that you've got to cut out Right, I've got an industrial pair of cutters. And just cut the gel. Cut right through. Not your fingers, the gel pad. These gel pads are quite handy to keep. And then put the same through the mark that you've made there. Okay, so now we can take one side off. And then you can stick it to the base. Actually that's a little bit long. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut a um, about two mil off, three mil off that. So it's a bit longer and it sticks over the end so. So that way when you put your controller on, it's going to be about the right length. And just make sure you get all the air out of it. Okay, so that's all sitting in there good. Take off your bottom layer. Make sure you remember to put your controller back on the, the correct way. And then you can sit it back into position of where you had it. Right, press down firmly. Support underneath your heli so you don't like put too much tension on your legs. Just press down nice and firmly. Right, so that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, a cable tie and I'm going to cable tie down the body and up around the side here so that I can keep it reasonably. I'm not going to actually put a lot of tension on it and it can be quite tricky to um, we'll see if this will go through. No it won't. So what I need to do is come right through here. We'll see if I can feed it through. No, there's no way I'm going to get through there so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to undo my assembly these three screws here so that I can pull it off uh, get my cable tie on there ok which size is that everything but the one I want there it is tucked away here Remember to make sure to lock tight these again once you're done. I really haven't had the nerve to try this again um, to see if it works. So, oh, it's been long enough, guys, so I'll give it a go. Eh? Okay, we're just going to loosen these off, take them out. And then I'm going to lift this up just so that I can get my just a zip tie in there just so that it's really not I'm not going to clamp down on it I'm just going to put it there so that it doesn't fly to bits 
So we'll just put this around here like so. Feed it under your cabling so you don't try not to bind that up too much. can be quite fiddly so especially with my big fingers so I'm just going to bring this around here like this just really so that it doesn't um, fly off <laughs> you know if you have an issue with it um, so you just trim that off make sure you're not going to cut any of your cables and that's still that's not going to actually fly off in flight so that's the main thing so we just got to re-dip our um, screws with a bit of Loctite and put them back together again Just nip those up. So as you can see, there's a fair bit more movement on here than, than what it used to have, and um, that will actually absorb a lot of vibration, according to um, all the information I've read. So we'll put our sets back in again, and then begin the. Uh, task of repositioning our servers back in so bearing in mind that you haven't mixed any up because of your little tape trick uh, one at a time put them back into position so I'm just going to take this tape out of the way Get a, I get a screwdriver and I'm just going to just pull a bit of tension up off these to make sure that none are pulling tightly on the and they're pretty good okay so that's pretty much the mod and now all I've got to do is recalibrate the controller and go from there We'll go through that in a minute. Thanks for watching. Cheers.